Welcome to Success Talks with Rodney Salisbury. I hope you will support my sponsors who bring you this podcast absolutely free and with limited interruptions. I really appreciate you taking the time to listen. I'll get started in just a second. The reviews are in. The latest book from voiceover superstar and coach Rodney Salisbury is another runaway hit. Readers from all over the world are raving about his newest title, Tongue Twisters and Vocal Warm-Ups. You can find this and his other titles at the top of the voiceover bestsellers list on Amazon.com. Foods to avoid when you do voiceovers and other important speaking engagements. People are always asking me about the proper foods to eat when they do voiceovers. What is good for the voice and what is bad for the voice? The first thing I want to talk about is mucus. Mucus is always something that is considered bad, right? But it's not always a bad thing. Mucus can be your friend. It's actually a thin coating that protects your nasal passages, and it protects your throat, and it covers your vocal cords. And it's important to the overall health of your voice to have a little bit of mucus. However, it's when it's too much mucus that it's a problem. And if you have too much mucus, you'll find yourself always trying to clear your voice. And when you clear your voice and you make that <coughs> sound, uh, that irritates the vocal cords. So you don't want to have to do too much of that. And if you have too much mucus, you find yourself doing too much of that. So it's important to remember that a little mucus is okay. You don't want to be dry completely. But too much mucus can cause irritation, which causes you to try to clear your throat, and the clearing of your throat irritates the vocal cords. I think it's important to eat healthy. That's really important. Now, I know sometimes you're going to cheat and you're going to want to have the sweets and the different things that you like, but just don't do it when you're about to do a voiceover or when you're warming up to do voiceovers or if you have an important speaking engagement, if you have a phone call that you have to make that's really important. You don't want to be on the phone clearing your throat and causing a distraction to your conversation. I'm talking about things like coffee, even tea, sodas. Uh, all of these things can cause you to have distortion and irritation on your vocal cords. They also are very dehydrating, and we don't want to dehydrate. We want to always be hydrated. So that's why it's important to have some room temperature water by your side when you're doing voiceovers or speaking. And we'll be back after this message. Hello, everyone. This is Sean Daly for DailyVO.com. I want to tell you about one resource I highly recommend for vocal warm-ups because it takes out all of the guesswork and it was purpose-built with voiceover in mind. It's called Rodney Salisbury's Tongue Twisters and Vocal Warm-Ups with Other Vocal Care Tips. How's that for a title? So in case you don't know, Rodney Salisbury is a top-tier talent and coach, motivational speaker, and author of several books on voice acting, including You Can Bank on Your Voice and Step Up to the Mic. The book is available in print and on Kindle, and you can find it at Amazon or Rodney's personal website, rodneysalisbury.com, in the store section. So let's get specific about the foods that you need to avoid before you do a voiceover or an important speaking engagement. Chocolate. The caffeine in the chocolate, it dries out the vocal cords. That's the bottom line. I love chocolate, and I eat it <laughs> whenever I can, but not before a recording session or a speaking engagement or an important phone call, all right? Mints, the menthol, it actually dries out your vocal cords. So if you think that you've got to take a mint, remember that this mint, it has this menthol in it and it can dry out your vocal cords. Baked goods, pastries, uh, cakes, all of these things are high in fat content and fat tends to disrupt your stomach, which can make you uh, make stomach sounds throughout your session or throughout your speaking engagement. The sugar, all of these things are not good for your voice. Anything that's creamy is also not good. When I talk about creamy, even something as light on your bread, like mayonnaise, is something that can affect your voice. Cream cheese can affect your voice. Too much butter can affect your voice. Anything that's creamy can be a problem. Now, 
Here's something that's really a problem for me. I love fried everything. I love fried shrimp. I love fried pork chops. But I have to avoid these things when I'm doing voiceovers because the fat in the food is a problem. It causes phlegm. Now, just recently, I got into drinking juices, really healthy juices, uh, celery juice, carrot juice, beet juice, juices. I blend these things together, and uh, I drink those things, and they tend to not bother me at all. But what I miss is my latte drinks. I used to love to go to Starbucks and get a soy latte That was my big drink until I decided to stop doing that because it was affecting me. It was affecting my voice. It was affecting my stomach. um, And it was affecting me to the point where it was affecting my voiceover delivery. So I had to cut out my latte drinks completely. Cut them out because the dairy and the caffeine was like a double dose of no. A double dose of trouble is dairy and caffeine together. And don't forget, dairy products include pizza because pizza has cheese, right? Another dairy product. And even the pizza crust is something that is just too much for voiceover or speaking. So when it comes to what to drink, I think my suggestion of water is perfect. Water is always perfect. It keeps you hydrated. It's good for you. There's a certain amount you need to drink throughout the day that has been proven uh, by doctors. A certain amount of ounces of water that you need to have. So check with your doctor to find out what that is. I think it's about eight glasses of water. And the juices that I talked about are pretty safe. As far as food, I would probably suggest if I were about to go into a session or, or have a speaking engagement and decide what it is that I want to eat early, maybe an hour or two before, I would probably have a sandwich. And I would probably have it on maybe some wheat bread, all right? And uh, I would use uh, maybe mustard or something, you know, instead of mayonnaise, all right? Or no spread at all. Just go at it cold turkey, so to speak. And the sandwich could be, it could be turkey, it could be ham, it could be some type of meat. But the bottom line is, you don't want to cover it with any creamy salad dressing, any cheese, or anything that's dairy. A little oil or vinegar is fine. And we'll be back after this message. Has anyone ever said to you that you have a nice voice and you should get into voiceovers? Well, this is your chance to find out how to do that online in Rodney Salisbury's voiceover online seminar for beginners only. You can find out what it takes to be a voiceover artist. And here's the beauty of this online seminar. You don't have to be there. When you register, you will automatically get a copy of the seminar. Go to my website at rodneysalisbury.com and sign up today. So everything that I have said to you doesn't just apply to voiceovers as we know them, okay? It applies to lectures. It applies to important phone calls that you may have to make. It applies to an important meeting that you may have to attend. You don't want to eat the wrong thing and be sitting in a meeting coughing and trying to clear your throat. So what you eat before you speak is very important. If you always arm yourself with a bottle of water, you will be ahead of the game, trust me. Because at that point, whatever you eat, you have the ability to try to clear your throat with that water. Let's go back to what I talked about at the top of this lesson when I was telling you how it's important to eat healthy. First of all, you should consume three meals and at least one or two snacks per day. You need to eat every three to four hours. And what that does is that stops you from grazing or overeating. And what I mean by grazing is picking up little snacks on the side, uh, sweet things or things that are bad for you. Just make sure that you eat three healthy meals per day, okay? And when you eat, stop working. Turn the working off. Okay, don't do voiceovers or don't do speaking engagements and eat 
while you're doing the voiceover or doing the speaking engagement or giving a lecture. Make sure you stop and, again, be mindful of what you're eating and what the food looks like and what it tastes like. That's important, too, because if it looks good and it tastes good, it puts you in a good mood to do your voiceover or do your speaking, okay? Plan ahead. Plan your meals. The reason we eat bad is because we don't plan. We're just grabbing things on the run. If the night before you plan what you're going to eat the next day, you will tend to eat better. You won't be impulsive, right? You won't make impulsive food decisions. You won't do the wrong thing and eat chocolate right before you read some copy, all right? Pay attention to your body, too. If you feel full, this is a signal that you are done. So stop, okay? Eat slower. Eat slower. You know how it is when you're reading some copy and the director says, okay, read it again, but could you slow it down? Well, I want you to start eating slower. I want you to eat again on this next meal, but I want you to slow down when you do. Don't eat mindlessly. And, and you might say, what do I mean by don't eat mindlessly? Well, again, that's eating things and not thinking about what it is that you have to do. I have to do a voiceover. I think I'll drink some milk. No. I have to do a voiceover. I think I'll eat some cheese. No. I have to do a, a speaking engagement, an important speaking engagement. I think I'll have some creamy mayonnaise. No. All right? You have to be mindful. And mindful means don't eat in front of the TV all the time because that encourages mindless eating. You see what I'm saying? When you find yourself eating mindlessly, you will stop paying attention to what you're eating and you'll eat the bad things. Finally, if you consider what you're eating before you use your voice, your level of great work will increase by leaps and bounds. You can listen to any of Rodney's podcasts at any time. Go to RodneySalisbury.com. I hope you enjoyed this podcast, and I urge you to listen to future podcasts where I will continue to try and make you better than before. My goal is to point you in a positive direction to success right here on Success Talks with me, Rodney Salisbury. Change my way.